she gets the recording going. Sorry, we'll restart that. That was, that was my fault. I couldn't tell that it wasn't recording on my other screen. Okay. All right. We're okay to start now. All right. Uh, this is the uh, mayor manager meeting. Today is Tuesday, November 30th. It's 12.01 p.m. With, I'm Steve Ward, Mayor Pro Tem. With us in this meeting are City Attorney Tamara Niles, City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, City Manager Sean Lewis, uh, Director of IT Jeremy King, and Assistant City Manager Tim Dodd. Please work with the titles. Uh, we will go ahead and get started with um, the December 6th meeting. We just have a um, couple of items. We have um, the Inglewood Environmental Foundation or EVE Certificates of uh, Participation, Redemption and Dissolution process discussion. Just giving an update on that um, effort. And then secondly, we have uh, City of Inglewood Strategic Plan Revamp and Community Engagement process. It looks like we've assigned time frames for both of these and um, both of those are study session items. Uh, continuing on December 6th, um, we also have the, um, the the third study session item is City Ditch Piping Project, and this is just really an update on um, what's going on with that and some of the discussion with Historic Littleton and the City of Littleton about the project that does go through Littleton. And we do not have discussion time noted on that item. So what do you, Steve, what do you think would be good there? Uh, so if it's just an update on the process, we probably don't need long, maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Sounds right. Great. Okay. And then moving on to the, um, Regular items on uh, December 6th, we have council liaison, uh, the, the resolution for that appointing and making those official. We have, and that's uh, currently slated for consent agenda, uh, B City USAA, excuse me, USA um, resolutions also on consent. Resolution establishing annual salary for city manager and city attorney. Um, and I know you did some discussion with member Russell on that. That's currently on. Uh, consent. Excuse me, we have student art contest, top 13 finalist recognition. This is under recognition, special proclamations, or, or yeah, I think that's the way it's worded. Or, uh, yes, and uh, really quickly, um, we were wondering if, um, so the study sessions for that evening are over two hours. Um, and so one of the things that we were going to think about is if we wanted somebody at the meeting to move to move this recognition of the um, student art contest winners to the beginning of the meeting prior to the two hours of study session items. Oh, yeah. Um, just because it's kiddos. Um, otherwise, we're going to be looking at, you know, eight o'clock. I, I just we we just weren't sure if you wanted to consider something like that. With with it being this way, yeah, I don't have any problem with that personally, and I don't anticipate that any other council member would have a problem with that unless there's something that requires us to do that inside the regular session. Okay, um, I don't believe so because we are still running these meetings as special meetings, um, as all in one, and so I believe that once the meeting is called to order as a special meeting that then there could be a motion to move any agenda items. But Tamara, if you want to weigh in on that. Uh, yes, I think that's fine. If if we um, move the agenda around during the meeting, that's no problem. OK. OK, well, I just think is uh, communications will need to communicate with the family when to come. And so we just wanted to just bring that to your attention. Well, just to yeah, solidify. Go ahead. A nice way to open the meeting for sure. Yeah. Okay. And I'm I mean, sorry. Yeah, ahead. I think that the mayor, Mayor Pritchard's consent, can't we just go ahead and list it on the agenda that way? That way people know that they need to be there at the beginning. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that, Tamara. Is there any problem with that, do you think? 
No, I don't think so. Um, okay. I, I think it, it, let's go ahead and publish it that way. But then at the beginning, say, um, I would recommend the mayor or the mayor pro tem say, we move this to the top of the agenda, even though it's technically out of order um, to be able to recognize these students um, and just ask if anyone has an objection to that. That sounds good. Okay, great. Okay with you, Steve. No objection. Great. Okay. okay. Um, so then we have a motion to re for uh, to approve renewal agreement to the transit shuttle services um, with MB Transportation, and that is not on consent. We have Jason Park Community Improvement uh, Construction Contract. This is over um, well over a hundred thousand. So it comes to council. We have a contract renewal and amendment uh, agreement for on-call engineering services with EST. That's for public works engineering projects. That is on consent. We do that um, annually. And then we have Mali Trust Fund Social Pass Expenditure. Um, <clears throat> and this is actually, um, I have some questions on this. This has not been pushed through yet. Um, just to find out how they do that for people in need rather than just everybody. So, um, but currently it's on consent. Ooh, big description. Sorry. <laughs> last mm -hmm. one for December 6th is here. Okay. And the last one is the second reading of the um, sale of Metro Fire Training Center, and that's also on consent. Any questions on December 6th? Uh, before we move on to December 13th, I did request um, a city attorney report to talk about the charter project um, and to request some direction regarding um, the advisory committee versus uh, a charter commission. And I'm I'm bringing this up because it's a fairly short time frame. On December 13th, we actually have an agenda item on it. And if we are going to move forward with an advisory committee, then I'd like to bring a resolution creating the committee on December 13th. Um, but I wanted to bring this up to, to Mayor Pro Tim Ward to see if he thought that um, was a good proposal for me to discuss December 6th. I just don't want December 13th and a proposed resolution to be the first time it was formally raised during a council meeting. I think December 6th is pretty packed, um, but uh, if that's important to you to have some sort of consensus ahead of that, then. Uh, you should feel free to bring that up under attorney's choice on the six. Okay, that's what I'll do then. We'll add a city attorney's report out then. Um, we also got a request this morning, um, Stephanie, that I forwarded to you and Jade for under council members choice to um, waive a permit fee for um, an address on the 3300 block of Bannock, South Bannock. Um, council member Anderson has requested that um, we waive a permit fee, and I explained that staff doesn't have the authority to do that. So he did request that that be um, put under council members choice. Okay, so, perfect. I'm not sure the extenuating circumstance other than they say that they maybe can't afford it. It's a $25 first month and then a $195 renewing fee or for another 30 days. Um, we expedited the permit, but they're asking for a fee waiver on that. So, okay. let me know if you need more information on that. That'll be under council member's choice. Is that okay with you, Steve? Is there any well, documents that need to be submitted, or is well, it just a I discussion? Included, in the email that I sent you and Jade, I included uh, the email request from the constituent as well as member Ward's request to put it on the agenda. Okay. So yeah, it'll be an attachment. There will be one attachment to that. It's just that email. Okay. All right. Um, and then on December 13th, we have the first thing is the holiday dinner at Big Glory, right? Um, and Tamara and I attend that along with the council. And then uh, project our presentation on project to consider revisions to city charter will be on study session and I, I think i would i would like to move that to uh, a resolution action item for the reason i i said before that way if if we are going to do an advisory committee 
we can start advertising um, for a month and then council can appoint members to the committee in January. So no study session, just you're going to submit that as a, a resolution? Yes, and I'll, okay. I'll go in and change that. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, <clears throat> and then um, resolution for establishing annual salary of the presiding municipal court judge. Um, that is also on consent. Um, renewal of Microsoft Enterprise Agreement. So this is the three-year agreement. It's a massive um, contract that we have with Microsoft. Um, Steve, what, what are your thoughts on consent? We do that about every three years, about $294,000 annually. Well, to me, a contract with Microsoft is a fairly straightforward matter. Uh, I would leave it on consent. If somebody wants to pull it, uh, they can. Okay. And then um, on uh, the next item is federal emergency management agency grant application resolution. This is for the South Inglewood. Um, I think it's drainage. Uh, yeah, stormwater improvements. 22 um, million that we're looking for a grant on that. This is our second time going for a big grant for uh, that. So that's for S1, S2 and uh, yeah, S1 and S2 projects. And then moving on down, contract uh, is that okay for consent since it's just a application to a, to apply? I think that one might be worth discussing. Actually, um, I'm okay having it on consent. Uh, I don't imagine anybody would pull it, but it might be nice to give notice to the public that we're actually looking for that funding and have a more robust discussion on it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, actually. So let's leave that on regular. OK. And then um, next is contract renewal for Kaplan Kirsch Rockwell. Um, this is for the services related to city center. This is the same group that we've used for this. So we would recommend consent on this one if that's OK. Yes. Yeah. And then city of Inglewood strategic plan revamp and community engagement process. This is um, exactly what it says. Um, I think we, I would prefer this not be on consent. So that's okay. I feel Steve. the same way. New council reviewing the strategic plan is probably a good time to pull that from consent. Okay. <clears throat> and then CB 53 ordinance amending municipal code regarding authorized uh, public consumption areas. Um, this is currently not on consent. Anything to add on that one? All right. Any questions in general on December 13th? Moving on to January 4th, we have the November monthly financial report and uh, DLG grant administrator change request. This is for DOLA. Um, it's a new yeah. Costs associated with the provision of defense counsel to defendants their first appearance in municipal courts. <clears throat> Not terribly familiar with this item. All right, moving on down. Can we assign a discussion time to that? Oh, thank you. I mean, we do usually don't do that quite this far in advance, but okay, um, no worries. <laughs> we certainly hurt. We can wait. Right. That's that's no problem. Okay. And then um, holiday lighting recognition contest winner recognition. After seeing the competition, I've decided not to enter. <laughs> um, do we have intergovernmental agreement with CDOT for maintenance of US 85 and the Southwest Broadway interchange? Um, some good news to report on this. We did end up getting um, another, I think, 1.5 million from CDOT for the cost overruns for that. Um, bridge replacement, and then we'll be asking council to consider kicking in an equivalent amount um, to cover the cost uh, that that project has is already looking to go over. So, but this is uh, simply the IGA just on who's going to maintain um, the infrastructure as part of the project. Moving down to January 10th. Is boarding commission interviews discussion? That'll be the only item on that meeting. 
And then January 20, excuse me, January 18th, we'll be, um, we'll have a discussion about special events, part of that study session. Also on January 18th, regular agenda, we'll have a resolution regarding the new boarding commission appointments and a public hearing for the planned unit development um, on the 3600 block of South Jason. Um, approval of loan agreement between the city and the EDDA. And then on January 24th, reserving parking spaces for veterans. This is the one that council gave direction to staff via member Wink's request to um, look at a program for parking spaces throughout the city for veterans. And then on January 24th, use of city right of way by third parties. This is um, the discussion the council has been having, um, looking at some changes to how we issue right of way permits, the process, the costs, uh, I mean, the fees, et cetera. And we're, that's a work in progress at this point. And then um, Stephanie or Tim, do you know, while we're on the 24th, just as an interjection, do you know what date council, the majority of council has picked for the retreat? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, Sean, uh, right now we've received four responses. Um, three of the four said both would work and one of the four said the 29th. Um, so I think we're going to pull the other three members to see if the 29th would work um, for them. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> also on the 24th, we have um, city council policy manual discussion um, that the city attorney's office will be leading. We've got preliminary December monthly financial report and presentation on city payment of city use tax. This is the policy that we're proposing a change to. Um, if I haven't already mentioned this to you, Steve, where we're our contractors for city projects are currently paying that use tax, which we think is a bit silly, just a shell game with money because you know, we're paying, making them pay it to us, to ourselves. It's just adding to the cost of the project. And then, um, we have acceptance of land dedication from the from CDOT. This is next to uh, the CubeSmart on Hamden and essentially Jason. We'll have um, that. That's starting February seventh. Another second item on February seventh. First reading for PUD uh, thirty six ninety South Jason. On March seventh, Inglewood trolley update and future planning. March 7th also, we have walk and wheel public hearing. March 14th, code next update. March 21st, walk and wheel plan update. There are two, aren't they? Oh, oh no, this is a resolution. I don't think that should say item type public hearing. <clears throat> we'll take a look at that. And then yeah. on April April 25th, we have estimated assessment penalty fee um, for, yeah, for, I guess that's for late payments. And, yeah. the oh, and then one last. <laughs> and then June 15th, framework agreement for, um, with LNR. So if we can scroll back up to the first week of January. Uh, I'd like to talk a little more about the DDA budget and loan agreement issues. I, I'm not comfortable approving the DDA budget and loan agreement until after we discuss the tax sharing that we brought up previously at Council Member Anderson's request. So we need to fit that in somewhere either in that same discussion on that same night or prior to that. Yeah, great to touch on that. Let's see, so when is the, okay, so the DDA budget is January 18th. Um, can you scroll up, Stephanie? What's the meeting before January 18th? The 4th. Uh, yeah. And what do we have on this? This isn't a very heavy agenda. Hey, look here. Oops. It's not too bad. Um, would it be okay, Steve, for us to plug that in on the 4th? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so Stephanie, that will be um, a study session discussion on um, revenue sharing from DDA TIP. We can put that as who, a place for now. And who would that go to? 
Uh, it'll need to be community development that submits that. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah, good catch on that. Anything else, Steve? Anything? That's all I thought. Um, can I just ask, you know, and it may be, we may need to revisit it, um, but we did, um, we're closing out applications for board and commission um, members. Uh, we did get 15 new applications, so we have several reappointments, but then 15 new applications that we've got scheduled for, I believe, January 10th for our interviews. And so the question that we have is, uh, in the past, we've done uh, board and commission interviews virtually, and that's been highly successful for applicants. So we just want to make sure we understand how council wants to conduct the interviews on January 10th. I personally have no issues with the hybrid format. Uh, I think if the people who want to serve want to appear virtually, uh, I don't have an objection to that have we done hybrid though i think the last time we did a round of interviews we were still fully virtual yeah it was fully virtual and and that's where we're trying to you know get an idea would you want to consider just doing fully virtual meeting for those interviews on january 10th do you want the hybrid model um so i generally oppose fully virtual meetings so I'm only one of seven on this, but uh, I would prefer hybrid. If I'm the one making the choice, that's how we would do it. Okay. Hey, that was the only other thing that we had questions on. And um, Mayor Pertram, we are working on a number of um, council requests that um, we got submitted. Um, I don't have those in front of me, but I don't think we have new ones since the last meeting. All right. I think that's all we got. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want sure. to turn us and tell the oh, sorry, Jeremy. I'm sorry. You've got an item. So go ahead. Sorry about that. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Mayor Pro Town. So I kind of want to discuss a little bit about the audio visual. Um, first thing is need to get your uh, feedback on that. We're looking to go live with the system January 4th, as I was speaking with Tim today on there. We are continually testing everything. Um, one of the things by January 4th that we won't have is the electronic voting. Stephanie and um, us, we're still working out the kinks on there. So with the start of January 4th, we will probably just still do um, a manual voting at that time. But we want to try to be actually using the rooms as designed. Um, one of the questions that we came up is that, and I, I believe the last time we were in there, you had made mention of somebody might have to uh, jump in there or and how those microphones are configured, because I think it worked well with a single person talking, but it didn't work well when there was going to be back and forth conversations or something. So as we looked at the configuration of those microphones of how to do that, um, we can configure the microphones like what you guys are currently using in the um, uh, community room as we're currently doing it, where it's on off. And the only issue there is the request to speak feature of who requested to speak and who's next, and that's gonna be a challenge on there. Um, other than that, if we if we turn on the request to speak feature, the mayor or whoever is chairing the meeting will have to allow people to speak to turn on and off their microphones. So. I, so I think my opinion on the matter is that we have a much more orderly meeting when we treat each other like adults and we allow control of the microphone. So the priority here is that everybody can be heard on the record when the time comes for them to be heard. You know, our rules call for things like interrupt motions, point of order and such. If you have to wait for the mayor to turn on your microphone to, to give a point of order, it might not be heard on the record. 
So I would prefer, uh, rather than a request to speak feature, just a, a live mic feature that treats everybody like adults and maybe uh, give the mayor, if this is possible, technically in the future, the option to mute everybody. If, if, it, if the meeting somehow descends into complete chaos, then he can resume control. Um, but uh, for the time being, the method that we use in the community room seems to work pretty well. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll also look at uh, future configurations and how we can get some more customization out of that. But for now, we'll just configure like we, we have in the community room. Sounds good. I think that'll be better. Right. Okay. That was all I needed. Anybody else? That's it for me. Thank you. I think we're good. I don't have anything. Oh. Uh, it is 1227. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.